All right, all right, let me ask you, this is not, no, this, this isn't meant to be any kind of uh, racial or anything, but you think that two live crew... How the f did you get this job with a speech impediment? That's what the f I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, now there is evidence. Oh. Let me say something, and, and say something on my behalf. Uh, I, he's put, I, I, he's done a lot for me. <laughs> See? What I'm saying is, who else, would, would anybody give you a job? Did you have a job before no, this show? No, I didn't have a job, but now I make a lot more than my friends. You see, he makes a lot more than his friends. All I see is that you turned a nice man like John Amos into a vicious man. Well, that's the way you choose to see it, because uh, you're not a nice person. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me show you stuttering John at his best, and I think this will change your if, mind. If I could just say, he made it easy for all stutterers everywhere. Right. See? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Why don't you roll the tape? All right. Would your wife go and dance topless in clubs for the money if you really needed it? Would my wife dance topless in yeah. clubs for money? Yeah. Yeah. She it's never like did dance topless. I know, but if, if, you know, if you really need the money, since I know that you I are would, bankrupt. You see, I wouldn't ask my wife to do that. I wouldn't ask my wife. I wouldn't ask my lady to do that at all. I got too much class. Holy <laughs> shit, look at this. What are you saying? You just shit. You just I shut up, I'll kick your ass out. You kick no one's ass. ass. Go on, go on, get away from No me. one's ass. Look at this. Look at this. What, what is this? You want to start well, kicking ass? Go, go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. You don't throw nothing from my wife. Why Look at this. Relax. Huh? Well, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm, I'm, I'll see you in court. My wife, relax. 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 Did the guy just hit me? Did you just hit that? He just popped me. The 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 guy just hit me. Relax. 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 Now play that, you silly little fart. Relax. Hey, what? This is a travesty. What, him having her on her uh, lap? <laughs> <laughs> no, I let agree. Me, let me say something. That's not a travesty. You can't tell me any of you guys like Morton Downing. I can't believe it. Hey, Robin, let me ask you a question. Do you think, I refer to me as Chief Justice. I mean, Chief Justice. And all you Chief Justices, <laughs> what do you imagine the audience at home does during the show? Like, do they, do they just tune in and watch the show with their pants off? Uh, I picture like a bunch of like, like guys 19, 20 years old, can't get a date, and they just tune in for these shots right here. Uh, Right is that here. to help your argument with the court? I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just opposing what the audience is doing right now. Personally, I watch the show with my pants off. Have you ever seen anything like this? Are these bodacious? Are these lung lumps? Are this sweater meat? Uh, whatever? Hey, let me do a commercial here, and then I will defend the rest of my show. Please. You didn't think that was good evidence with Morton Downey? I don't know what you were trying to show. I don't know. I'm trying for ratings. Oh, oh I love lesbianism. <laughs> I love it. Are you one of those transsexuals? You got it. Oh, that's a guy! Oh, no, yeah! No. Stern, you freak. You have thus far unsuccessfully attempted to defend your mockery of a TV show. The game show is one of America's most respected and revered institutions. Yet you, my furry friend, <laughs> seem to see this as just <laughs> another area for you to be as offensive, quiet, as offensive as you possibly can. Now take, for example, exhibit F. The lesbian dating game. Oh. Hey, can you guys see, hey, can you guys see my underwear when I cross my legs like this? I was going to say, you've never been a woman. Hey, I know, I tell you that. Hey, listen, let me talk to you about lesbianism. First of all, I'll, I'll pull, am I allowed to defend my show about the well, lesbian dating game? Well, that's why you're here. I have ascertained through many years of being on the radio, through doing this television show, and it seems like I've been doing this television show for years, I have ascertained that people like lesbianism. For example, Your Honor, do you like lesbianism? Do you like to watch two girls together? Don't pull. No, I guys. could ask the judge. Do you like oh. to answer the question? Do you like to watch two women together? Hell no. No, you don't. Do you like to see two women together? Well, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Do you like to see two women together? Yes. Yes, you do. Do you That's like to see? Yes? Yeah, it's a yes. I said yes. <laughs> oh, guess? Yes. Oh, guess. 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 Yeah, well, enunciate. What, do you like to see two women together? It depends on their age. And do you like to see two women together? No. You don't? Excuse no. me, what are you trying to prove by all this? What I am trying to say is there are a lot of people who enjoy this sort of thing. 
seeing two women together. Let me show you. Give us an example. I'll give you an example. <laughs> and now, Lesbian Dating Game with your host, Howard Lang. Yeah. Now, number two, what's the most erotic thing you've ever done with your clothes on? Have you ever gotten into some erotic situation? Oh, always. Have you ever been with two girls at the same time? Yeah. Oh, you do admit to that. Yeah. All right, and that was an orgy situation? Was what? That was an orgy situation? No. I see. And when about your first lesbian experience? When did that occur? Well, I was 15. You were 15 years old, and how did it happen? Uh, my, it was like my best friend, and uh, we were just sitting around. and Sitting I just... around with another girl, your best friend, you're hanging out, and she says what? Well, I started it. I just said, uh, you know, we should start making out. We and should start making said, out. She said, okay. Really? Yeah. And then before you knew it, your tongues were in each other's mouth. Mm hmm I see. Now, how old was she when she found out she was a lesbian? Did she I had to something? be one. One? <laughs> <laughs> There's no mistaking it. You are a lesbian. <laughs> Believe me, I could convert you in five minutes. Believe me, what I could give you, no woman can. <laughs> Believe me, I have the goods. Believe me, I do. I don't think I want it. Number three, what about you? Now, when did you have your first lesbian experience? In college. You did have it in college? Yeah. Now, you had been with men up until now? Up until now, or... Up yes. until the point that up you went to college? Too, yeah. And you had always thought about being with a woman? It was something, um... I was attracted to. I was attracted to women. You were, but yes. you were afraid to act on it because you knew that society considers it taboo. Taboo. <laughs> is that correct? This is correct. That is correct. <laughs> now, what's going through your mind? Is it going to be bachelorette number one, number two, or number three? Um, number one. Wow, number one. Now, why, why did you choose number one? She was the one who couldn't even come up with an answer. Why did you choose number one? Why number one? Well, I like her voice, and... I think she was the one that would also be on the island with Julia Roberts. I think that was the one. And that was, that was that it for was you. That was the deciding factor, huh? Well, let me tell you something. Nobody's a loser on the uh, date, lesbian dating game, because I'm sure the other two will hook up and go out <laughs> with together. With each other. <laughs> with the two of you Would like you two like to go, like out? to go out? Give each other a kiss. Go ahead. Oh, please. Please. All right. Oh. Yeah. Yes! Oh. oh, I love lesbianism. I love it. Every time I see that clip, I realize how good this show is. Oh. I realize that this show has hit heights. Thank you. Standing ovation. Thank you. Thank you, Chesty. Oh, my God. Stern, hey, your vulgarity me... boggles the mind. You didn't like seeing the biker girl kiss the other one? Is you there didn't... any... No, seriously. Up... Please, would you get out of that character for a second and tell me you didn't like that? Uh, we're way. responsible for determining whether this show continues. You better hope this show continues. I mean, how low can you sink? Well, let me tell you something. I could sink a lot lower than that. For example, do you remember the time, and I think this is good entertainment. I believe this supports my case. We did a, uh, you, you ever see the game show Family Feud? Certainly. Well, one of the great things that uh, I think that we did around Family Feud, we did a parody with hookers versus call girls versus transsexuals. This is on family television. Well, I think people enjoyed it. Watch this. You will like this. It's the Female Feud. And meet the hookers. Monday, Mickey, Jen, and Erica, ready for action. And the call girls, Ebony, Honeydew, Pamela, and Susie. On your mark, let's start the female feud. Thank you, everybody, and welcome to the feud. <laughs> the call girls versus the hooker team. Whoa. <laughs> All right, now here's how we go. First of all, let me uh, tell you how our game is played. Number one, we have surveyed 100 prostitutes, call girls, and sexual deviants on several subjects. The top four answers will be on the board, and that's how we play the game. Let's meet the stars of the few! All right! All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the hooker team, let's meet the captain of the